it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, we're gonna look at how to set up permissions for the audit log in the Office 365 Security and Compliance Center. This will be useful to you if you wanna give permissions for people to use the audit log, but you don't necessarily wanna make everybody a global admin. You wanna give them more granular permissions and this will tell you how to do that. The video you're about to see is taken from our online course on Office 365 Information Protection. So if you like this video and you want to see more, head over to our school at school.collaboration.coach. As well as Office 365 Information Protection, we've got courses on SharePoint Teams and others. So check us out at school.collaboration.coach. So audit log search is a very simple search facility that allows you to look through all the activity that's going on in your Office 365 tenant. First, let's talk a little bit about that, like where that data is coming from. Microsoft within Office 365 is logging all the activity that goes on in the tenant. And that can be anything from sharing a document to creating a team to adding a user. It's right across the board and it tries to capture everything that goes on so you can use it for auditing. The audit log search is searching through all that data. The permissions for the audit log search are a little different to the other areas of the Security Compliance Center because you need some permissions from Exchange Online in order to see the audit log information. You can't do this as a Security Compliance Center administrator. You're going to need some help from whoever the Exchange administrators are in your organization because you need access to the Exchange Admin app or PowerShell to make these changes. The roles you need in Exchange are the audit logs or view only audit log roles. Here I am in the Exchange Administration Center and I'm in the permission section and I've gone to admin rules. Now you can see, for example, the compliance management role group has the assigned roles that include audit logs and view only audit logs. So in order for someone to go to the Security Compliance Center and view the audit log search, they would need to be either a member of the compliance management group or also the organization management group has them and the records management has audit logs as well. So you've got choice of some out of the box role groups to choose from there, but you can also create your own. You could add a new group here, call this perhaps audit log search. You can add in the roles you need here. So that would be audit log. So there's audit logs, we'll add that. And also view only audit logs. Audit logs supersedes the need for view only audit logs because view only is just so you can view. If you wanted to, you can just add the audit logs role. Okay, that. And down here you add your members. So I'm just gonna add in a couple of people here and then click OK. So now I've got a new role group. It's called audit log search. It's got the audit logs role, which is what I need, and it's got my members. So now I've done all I need to do on the exchange side and I can go back to Security Compliance Center. So I'm back over in the permission section of the Security Compliance Center now. And just as in exchange, some of the existing role groups already have the audit logs or the view only audit logs role assigned to them. If I go to Compliance Administrator, for example, you can see if I scroll down, this one has the view only audit logs role already assigned to it. And if I go to organization management, this one has the audit logs role. If it doesn't suit your needs to add the user to either of these existing role groups, perhaps because they got too many permissions you don't want them to have, you could again create a new role group. I'm just gonna add in the name here, audit log search so it matches my exchange role group hit next now I'm going to choose the roles hit add and here I'm going to choose audit logs so I've got my audit log role added hit done now I can go next choose my members I'm going to go choose members 
add and I can pick the members from here so uh, there's Adam and Adele hit add done and next review the settings and then create the role group so anyone that I want to just be able to do audit log searches I can add to those role groups so that video was taken from our information protection for administrators course and if you'd like to take the whole course you can go over to school.collaboration.coach in your browser and check it out thanks for watching and see you next time